Hi, this is Claims. I work for ITAcademy.in. In this video, I'm going to present you uses of LinkU with SharePoint 2010. Before I show you the same practically, uh, let's talk about a few important points about LinkU. Obviously, the integration of LinkU with SharePoint is a new feature in SharePoint 2010, and LinkU stands for Language Integrated Query. LinkU supports different data sources, in fact, like we can use, we can talk to LinkU to objects, we can do LinkU to datasets, LinkU to SQL entities, or for that matter, LinkU to XML as well. The beauty of LinkU, it, it actually allows us to access the uh, lists, for that matter, of our SharePoint sites in a typed manner. When I say typed manner in the sense like, um, if I don't use link you, obviously we have to remember the various column names that we have in our SharePoint lists. For example, if I take you to my products list, uh, you can see I've got a couple of field names. And these field names are, are the index of these fields in this list. Obviously, we need to remember in case if we don't take the help of the link you. And link you allows us to access these lists in a typed manner by listing out those field names while you actually do your coding in Visual Studio. Obviously, all this can happen provided if I can generate a model class for the list that I have in my SharePoint site collection. And Microsoft is providing a very handy tool called as spmetal.exe and this utility will help us to generate the model classes uh, for our lists in our SharePoint site. So, to demonstrate to you this example, I'm, I'm in Visual Studio. I'm trying to create a new project, and it's going to be SharePoint, empty SharePoint project, and I'll call this as link you with SharePoint training, and I say OK. And I'm going to deploy this as a form solution, and that's the URL of my site collection, as you can see that here and we go and deploy this as a form solution we say finish so once i'm the solution explorer the first thing that i need to take into references to talk to sharepoint from using link you is to have microsoft.sharepoint.link you in our references list to implement this program i'm actually going to add a web part and i'll call this as uh, something like say link you to SharePoint demo and I say OK. This is a normal web part I have taken and you can see our class is inherited with the web part class and we have the create child controls function. What is very essential for me is to take into references Microsoft.SharePoint.LinkU and I will also take into references system.LinkU. So, first of all, what I would like to do before I implement the create child controls function, uh, I need to generate the model class. So, obviously, the spmetal.exe can be seen pretty much in the SharePoint have. If you can go to the bin folder and you can see there's a very special file called as spmetal.exe. So, let me generate the model class by going to the command prompt. And I'll also copy this path. And I'm simply trying to say cd to that folder. And I'm using a very special command called as spmetal.exe uh, slash web. So for which side would you like to generate the model class? IT Academy. What should be the uh, output file? I will say products.cs. In fact, you can also specify the language type as C sharp or VB.net and you can say OK. Now what it is doing, it is actually creating for me a my model class called as products.cs and wherein it writes lots of code for us. Of course, I have actually saved this file into the same folder. Now I need to actually copy this file and um, I'll put that into my solution by pasting it. When you actually go into the product.cs 
yes it's a pretty lengthy code but you can see it has created for me a data context and that has been inherited with the data context class and you will see lots of things about all the custom lists we can access through the products data context object perfect so now you know how to create a model class based by using the sp model sp, uh, sp metal dot exe tool now to quickly demonstrate to you i'm going i'm have a couple of lines of code let me show you what i'm trying to do uh, first of all in i'm taking a label a button and then a drop down list and then in the create jail controls function i'm simply adding these controls to my uh, controls collection uh, for the label we have it as product name and for the button we have get product names we are adding the label we are adding the drop down list of course i'm taking you to the next line by adding the break control and then our button is been added and uh, when i click on this button we are actually having an event handler called as button one underscore click function so this is where the tricky part of using link you with sharepoint comes into picture so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to copy this entire button click function and i'm pasting it here so first of all you need to understand what is the data context that we have it's actually products data context so that name i need to copy paste here and then you can see i'm trying to say using products data context object equal to new of products data context of our it academy website i'm trying to say where some variable equal to from some dummy variable in interestingly when i say data context dot and i will see all my lists of my sharepoint including my products list in fact so and also i can apply some kind of filtering by trying to say where data dot color this is what i mean to say typed manner you can see the color field here we can see the product name we can see the title and interestingly if i take you to my sharepoint site you have the product id product name and color and these fields of this sharepoint custom list we are able to access them in a typed manner in our sharepoint in our c sharp code and this is where i'm trying to say where data dot color dot equals of silver uh, we have only one product as silver that's okay for the time being i'll remove the where condition and we are simply selecting this data so all the records from the products list now goes to the products list and one one record from the products list goes to prod and interestingly i can see the list of my field names so i'm adding all my product names to my drop down list perfect everything is nice so simply build this solution the build is succeeded and i'm trying to deploy the solution now so the deployment has been succeeded of course the feature that i have actually created uh, is a site collection feature that's okay and because i i have it currently the active deployment configuration as default my feature has been deployed and it has been activated automatically if i would have actually made this as no activation then i would have to activate my feature manually by myself so let's come back to the SharePoint site and um, try to create a new page to test our web part. I will call this as products test something. Let me try that one more time. We call this as products test to say OK. So we are in the brand new web page. I'm trying to insert the web part. My web parts can be seen in the custom section called as link you to SP demo. That's the web part name. I say OK. And now I simply save my page. Now you can see we have the label in place. 
uh, as we have designed the screen we have the button and we also have the drop down list the moment when i click on the get product names it is actually getting all the product names from that uh, product custom list and showing me in this drop down list and we access the records of this custom list using link you and uh, the the main important aspect of this program is obviously the products data context class using the object of this products data context class that has been created by the spmetal.exe we can access all the custom lists of that uh, site collection and you can also access the individual fields of each custom list and that's how uh, we can use link you to talk to the SharePoint custom list in a typed manner. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to have full length videos uh, of the entire SharePoint 2010 codes, you can visit itacademy.in and we will be able to help you on that. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and bye bye.